Anytime we have data, step one is to plot it. So I have the data of Algeria's exports over the years. So I select these two columns um, and then I try to plot it. Now here, if I plot a line chart, it won't work because Excel assumes that the first column, which is the year, is also um, something to be plotted. So a good thing to do here is to plot a scatter chart, either the one with these data points or the one without the data points. But anyways, I plot this uh, data plot and it even labels it for me as exports. Now, when I plot this, um, I don't see a particular trend. I don't see data consistently increasing, decreasing. I don't see a seasonal pattern. So obviously the best method to use in this case is single or simple exponential smoothing. So I move this aside, scroll up, and I'm gonna try and use the single or the simple exponential smoothing. So what does it single or sim the exponential smoothing method do is it tries to find the level, the center, because there's random variations around the center. It tries to get that center and says that center is going to be your forecast for the foreseeable future. I have one more year. It has a center. It matches both of them and then tells me, oh, this is your new center. And now for the foreseeable future, this is going to be your forecast. I give it some more new data. It has a center, the new data, it readjusts and then keeps adjusting like that and telling me that that's my forecast for the foreseeable future. So the forecast here has a level component only, no trend, no season. And I need to start with an assumption. So I, I assume that the level is equal to this value or I can start any other value also and that the forecast is equal to level, whatever. Now the new level, there's a formula on the side that you can see here. Um, the new level is equal to the value of alpha. So I first need to find or assume a value of alpha. We'll decide what's the best alpha for us in a bit. So I select the value of alpha and then so is equal to this value of alpha. I fix it because I'm going to drag it down times the actual, which is the exports, plus one minus alpha again, and I fix it again, times the previous level. Perfect. And I select these two and double click here. So it has to told me that this, these are my fitted values uh, for the existing data and uh, I need to find the forecast in the future. But I don't know if this alpha value is the right value for me. So what we do is either find mean absolute deviation or root mean square error and find that value of alpha which would minimize that. So I'll, I'll go with RMSC, root mean square error. And to find root mean square error, I need the square error first. So I have the square error here, which is equal to square of, or which is equal to the forecast minus actual, and I need to square it. Double click it. And I need to find the root mean of the square error. So I find RMSE, which is equal to square root of the average of all these values. I don't select the first because that's a zero. You can, still it won't make a major difference. Uh, I should have put two parentheses, but anyways, it found the RMSE for me here. So um, once I have this RMSE, I need to minimize it. I can, one way is to put different values. Um, see which sort of minimizes it um, and then decide what to do but a better method is to use solver so I go to data solver and okay um, and I say that I want you to minimize uh, da, da, da. I want you to minimize my RMSC minimize it and what can I change it I'm going to allow you to change the alpha value and that's it. And I'm going to say solve. And it solves it for me. 
and says my alpha should be 0 0.8395 or 0 0.84, that's the approximate, and my RMSC is 5.91. And uh, so if I want to forecast the future, all I do, this is my forecast value with this 22.4445 or 22.45. So what this is telling us that in the foreseeable future, Algeria's um, uh, GDP exports um, are going to fluctuate around 22.45. That's a very, um, that's what this method, um, simple or single exponential smoothing is all about. And this method is useful when we only have random variations.